Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace the cylinder head on this Briggs & Stratton engine, you will need a 7mm socket, a 7mm wrench, a 10mm socket with an extension and a 3 8 inch universal joint adapter, a 5 8 inch wrench, a 5 8 inch spark plug wrench, a 5 32 inch Allen wrench, a 5 16 inch nut driver, a T30 Torx bit, a feeler gauge, and a torque wrench. Before you begin this procedure, make sure the engine and muffler have cooled. Using the 7 mm socket, unthread the four mounting screws, securing the guard to the muffler. Use the 10 mm socket with an extension to unthread the rear screw securing the guard's mounting strap to the bracket. Remove the guard and detach the breather tube from the rocker cover. Now use the 10 mm socket to unthread the four mounting screws securing the rocker cover to the cylinder head. You will need to use the 3 8 inch universal joint adapter to unthread the top screw. With the four screws unthreaded, you can detach the cover. If loose, remove the rocker cover gasket. Next, detach the spark plug wire and boot from the spark plug. Use the 5 8 inch spark plug wrench to help loosen the spark plug, then unthread it. Confirm the engine piston is in the up position, known as the top dead center, then lower the piston slightly, making sure both rocker arms stay loose. Use the 5 8 inch wrench to secure the intake rocker arm adjuster nut and the 5 32 inch Allen wrench to loosen the set screw. With the set screw loosened, fully remove the nut and the rocker arm. Slide out the push rod. Now repeat to remove the exhaust valve rocker arm and push rod. Use the 10 mm socket to unthread the two screws, securing the muffler to the cylinder head. Remove the muffler. Next, use the 5 16 inch nut driver to unthread the two mounting screws, securing the air filter cover. Remove the cover and the air filter, then unthread the screws, securing the filter base. Pull the choke lever off so you can fully remove the base. Using the T30 torque spit, unthread the two mounting screws, securing the carburetor, spacer, and gaskets to the cylinder head. Now use the 7 mm wrench to unthread the screw securing the cylinder head shield. Fully detach the shield. 
Unthread the four mounting screws securing the cylinder head using the 10 millimeter socket. Set the old cylinder head aside and remove the old gasket as well. Clean off any residue from the crankcase. You're now ready to begin installing the new cylinder head components. Align the new gasket on the cylinder head mounting pins. Position the cylinder head on the crankcase and thread the four mounting screws in a diagonal order. Using the 10 millimeter socket on the torque wrench, torque the four screws to 220 inch pounds. Align the provided valve caps on the valve stems. We recommend you examine the push rods to see if either one is bent and replace one or both rods with new ones if necessary. Insert both push rods through the guide until they are fully seated in the cylinder head. Then realign the rocker arms and partially tighten the adjuster nuts. Now use the feeler gauge to set the appropriate gap between both rocker arms and their respective valve caps. The intake rocker arm gap should be between 0.004 and 0.006 thousandths of an inch. The exhaust rocker arm gap should be between 0.009 and 0.011 thousandths of an inch. Tighten both rocker arm adjuster set screws, then recheck the gaps. Reposition the cylinder head shield. Thread and tighten the side screw to secure. Align the provided carburetor gasket and spacer on the cylinder head. Reinsert the two mounting screws through the carburetor and slide the second gasket onto the screws. Position the carburetor and thread the screws into the cylinder head. Confirm the gasket is intact, then reposition the muffler and thread the two mounting screws to secure. Reinstall the rocker cover by inserting the top mounting screw, then slide the new rocker cover gasket over the screw. Align the cover and gasket on the cylinder head and thread the screw. Replace the remaining screws to fully secure the cover.
the longer screw goes on the bottom. Keeping the breather tube inserted in the air filter base, insert the tube into the hole in the rocker cover. Reinstall the muffler guard by positioning it over the muffler, then thread the screw to secure the strap to the bracket. Thread the four front mounting screws to secure the guard to the muffler. Rethread the spark plug. Be careful not to damage the threads by over tightening. Reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug. Insert the two mounting screws through the air filter base. Then align the base and thread the screws into the carburetor. Replace the choke lever. With the pre-cleaner positioned in the cover, followed by the air filter with its rubber gasket facing outward, align the cover on the base and secure it with the screws. The engine should now be ready for use.